Welcome to your Daily Five. This is for Wednesday, March 8, 2023. I'm Bruce Fraser, your host. And today, we are going to go big. We are going to talk about big base investing. And uh, this is a fascinating topic. Uh, I love to look for big base investments. And so let's look at some potential candidates. We're only going to see a few, but I'll talk a little bit about how you can find them if we have time when we get to the end of this. Anyway, big base investing is very much a function of and based on Wyckoff accumulation structures. And so the notion, the idea behind a big base is, and this is a uh, effectively a rule, is the bigger the base, the bigger the cause, we would call this cause, the bigger the cause, the bigger the move, the bigger the effect, the bigger the uptrend. And so we are with big base investing looking for these magnificent, gigantic structures. And we only need a few of them to work out really, really well to make this a, a very successful campaign strategy for uh, investors. And so let me give you an example of that. By, by the way, uh, watch at Wyckoff Analytics because we are going to have a free Wyckoff market discussion segment with uh, my uh, partner, Roman Bogomazov, my teaching partner. And at Wyckoff Analytics, you can sign up for this. It's going to be, I believe, on April 5th absolutely free to attend. We don't share your information. We would just love to have you there. And so we look at all of the current markets from a Wyckoffian perspective, and I think you're going to really enjoy it. Here is an example. This is from Power Charting last Friday. You can watch this on demand, but this is an example of big base investing. And at the time, in 2016, I wrote a blog here on Microsoft, where in 2000, it made a peak and went into after a glorious uptrend and went into a range bound condition, had a selling climax, automatic rally, range bound condition, was in this condition from 2000 all the way over until it came out of this resistance area at 2014-15, uh, gigantic, gigantic trading range. And then it went into this beautiful new uptrend. And you can see here is a trend channel analysis. And I've done this all on the show from power charting. But at the place of the uh, uh, blog post in 2016, when I wrote this, it had just completed a backup and after breaking out and was getting ready, I believed at the time to go into an important new uptrend. And it went from $58 up to $345. That's what big base investing promises is that kind of, it doesn't happen often. You just don't need that many to make it really, really work out. And so the, uh, the idea is to just keep looking for the very best ideas, Let's move on and do exactly that. And we will look at some uh, candidates. Here's our first big base candidate, Sarepta Therapeutics. Note how big this structure is. Let me get my little drawing tool here. And you can see this is back in 1997, 98, when the company went public, had a big blow off reaction then it went down into a bear market, selling climax, range bound condition, automatic rally follows, stayed pretty much inside of this range for many, many years. So this is 2004. This is the beginning of 2006. And then there was a, a larger cyclic bear market in the Great Recession, 09 to uh, 012. And that was a beautiful structure in itself. And you're going to see lots of individual structures inside of a big accumulation event in a stock. And you can trade all those little individual structures as you go. But the point is that this is a giant cause and look what's happened since. So after a spring and a test and a last point of support, a big, big rally up out of this resistance area to the prior highs, then it goes into what we call a backup. 
and it went into a t high tight backup area where it built a cause. I'm going to show you a weekly chart, which will zoom in some on this very event. But just to give you an idea, now we've had a jump. It's trying to get up to this resistance zone again. We'll see whether it can hold and then cascade or jump out of here. So let's see if that can happen in the future. One thing we have to be really careful about with big bases is it can take a long time for the structures to unfold before they're ready to go into a sustainable and important uptrend. And so patience is very much a part of this whole approach. Here, uh, just one last comment, relative strength, big base in relative strength. It's trying to get above its long-term moving average at this time and uh, jump out and start to go in earnest. And so we want relative strength up with price as we see the uh, uptrend uh, carry on. Here's the weekly chart. I put a yellow box around this note. This is back to 21. And this is just that last area in our big backup that we just looked at on the monthly. Timeframes are gigantic with these. But here you can see at the beginning of 21, there's a beautiful base building. Now it's in a weekly uptrend on relative strength and on price. So we have a confirmed uptrend uh, in my vernacular. And look at this big jump that we just had as it pushes up into resistance. That may stall the advance for a period of time. We'll wait and see. But if it can continue to be in a tight, narrow range, that will be very constructive. So this whole area from a point and figure perspective would be countable. No time to do that today, but we will uh, maybe pursue that in the future. Here is Cabot chemical company. This is a accumulation structure potentially with a uptrending bias to it going all the way back to 2001. So we see a climax, automatic reaction, range bound condition. We have a base here in 2019, 2021. Now look what we're doing. The green shaded area represents a high tight trading area looks like a backup and it's trying to work its way out of this channel that we've been in. And if it can do that, it very well could be the kickoff to a more important uptrend. Here is a weekly, we're looking at this uh, area from the beginning of 22 on, appears to be reaccumulation. We could count this from a point and figure perspective, but all the way back over to here, this all looks like potential accumulation and a very robust uptrend and leadership from the relative strength. Sterling Construction is a very interesting company. This is 2005-06, very important resistance after a major uptrend into that high. It found resistance at that area again, stalled, spent about a year there after uh, forming an important uptrend. Well, look what's happened now. It's up and out of this resistance area, attempting to establish a new uptrend. Very interesting place for the stock and the relative strength is confirming the uptrend. So a very uh, interesting candidate. Here is a weekly chart of Sterling and here is a reaccumulation, potential countable area. And the relative strength is just starting to super accelerate in a northward direction. This all looks like a big relative strength base as it does on price. This goes back to 2018. These are weekly bars. And the uh, note the ability of this rally to get above these resistance zones across this area, and then it consolidates and stays above that area. Very constructive price behavior is to be able to stay in a tight, quiet area and respect prior resistance new support. So, uh, and the relative strength is confirming the strength. Turning to another segment here, we have uh, J-Bill, which is, it says here, it is elect electrical components. Well, it is, but the category best describing them is contract manufacturing. These contract manufacturers made their peaks around 2000 and very big climactic surge in 2000, stopped the advance, 
it went into a very, very long reaccumulation structure. Well, the thing that happens with these big base stocks is they continue to execute and do their jobs, increase their earnings over time, but the stocks don't necessarily follow with big dynamic uptrends. So one of the things you'll see often, and these stocks all had the, these attributes, is PE ratios that are relatively low. These are GARP stocks, growth at a reasonable price. And note with JBIL that this very large accumulation structure has a, a reaccumulation type basing event over here from 2012 onward, very large, but it's only part of the bigger structure. And then after testing the lows of this area, it comes out and goes up to the resistance of the 2000 high. Well, now JBL is above its 2000 high and doing a good job of demonstrating leadership here. The relative strength is in an uptrend and appears to be from this yellow shaded box completing a relative strength accumulation in concert with the price accumulation. So this is a very interesting stock. And the last one we'll show you here. Uh, oh, and then here is J JBL on a weekly basis. Note the very dynamic relative strength upward trend, which shows leadership, 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 and reaccumulation here from late 2021 onward, this is a very large structure in and of itself and is only part of a much bigger structure, which we just looked at. So this is a very interesting idea, I do believe. Now, last one uh, is another contract manufacturer. This is Flex Limited. And here you see a PE of around uh, call it 13, it made a high. It's not a new highs yet. So 2000 it made its peak with the contract manufacturers. Big reaction, bear market into 2020, 2002. Selling climax, automatic rally, range bound condition, shakeout in the middle of this structure in the Great Recession of 08, 09. And then look at this really nice hinge over here where it goes into a pivot comes out of that and has a very, very dynamic rally up to the resistance area. And I call this a sign of strength. Then a more important correction stays inside of the trading range structure, has an at last point of support decline to test the selling climax, and then rallies straight up into the resistance area and this resistance area it becomes it changes its character something very much to keep an eye on is it gets tight and quiet in this uh, area which shows that the stock has been well accumulated by large interest and now it's out of the accumulation zone so this is a look at the monthly on flex uh, no time to look at the weekly but please you do that and uh, we will look at more of these big base stocks in the future. Thank you so much for being here. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.